everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alice Takeover. Yeah, Takeover isn't actually my last name, but it's just for fun. Today we're gonna be thrift shopping. Whenever I'm at home and I visit friends, they love to even just go window shopping at thrift stores, and I enjoy doing that very much too, because sometimes I need new clothes. <laughs> and I enjoy going thrift shopping too, because it's fun to look for deals and see if there's anything that can add to my current wardrobe. I'm a freelance traveling model, and whenever I go shopping, I like to look for clothes that not only I can wear every day out and about in public, but things I can also wear for photo shoots too. This is going to be my outfit that I go out in for the day. This outfit's a past thrift shop find, so this is the first outfit, I guess. <laughs> this dress fits me perfectly. Uh, there's no way around it. This has been in my wardrobe for years now, and I don't think it's ever going to leave. I love that it uh, wraps around my waist at just the right spot. It looks perfect up top. It's got these little sleeves, and I personally like little sleeves like this because it keeps the sun off me a little bit. And then to the back, it, it hugs perfectly. There's just nothing wrong with this dress at all. And I do like the fabric too. This is a dress that I can wear in cooler weather or in warmer weather. I can kind of put leggings underneath it if it's in cooler weather, or I can wear it as is for the warmer weather. The color's great. I love the color of it. It suits my skin tone well. So I hope to find many more awesome pieces like this at the store today. Feel free to come join me. We're going to just jump right into it. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's my color and everything. Oh, and the, and the name brand. Oh, it's a name brand too that I really love, Charlotte Russe. It was uh, before that they went out of style as far as they used to have really cute clothes like this and soft colors and they kind of went more uh, streetwear, I think. So I really like their old vintage stuff. So I'm really happy that I found this piece just now because this will go with my other Charlotte Russe pieces. <laughs> I'll have to do a whole Charlotte Russe try on haul too. I'll have to show you that. But yeah, getting lots of goodies. Can't wait to try these on. So all the dresses and even a jumpsuit in here that I found. <laughs> so I just found this large or maybe extra large medium it looks large for me <laughs> it'll probably swallow me but i love the material of this it's like a velvet and it's like color scheme right on point for me and i love this outfit specifically because this has the original tags on it so i can see what this used to cost without looking it up online so this costs originally 40 dollars at forever 21 which i think is a total rip but here i think it's actually 543 so from $40 to $543, $43, $543. Mm -hmm. That this is a stellar deal and I'm gonna wear this and it's gonna be my PJ jacket. I like the back cutout. I'm holding back my sushi belly right now, but if I was not, it would look like this. So I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and I'll put this in the try on haul video going forward, but I will probably debut it again since it is Charlotte Russe and I love their old branding. I have several other outfits and they're kind of strewn over the country right now where I have some out in California at a friend's house and I have some at my place in Miami and some in New York. So I'll get them all together and do a try on haul video of Charlotte Russe in the future. <laughs> right, so here's dress number two and I'll probably cut it here because I have a load of other clothes that I want to show in the video at home that I'm gonna style it out all with, but this one was so cute, I had to put it on. And it's actually, I just love it, it's so flouncy. We were trying to film up against the wall, but the wall is the same color as the dress. I had to move to the door. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the way it's hugging me. It's super cute, it's got a good twirl. We're going into spring, so I'm excited to wear this outside, but I will have to show you how I style this out as well. So stay tuned for that. And we're gonna continue on shopping. <laughs> I 
thrift shop finds. <laughs> we ended up getting so many cute items today from the thrift store. I couldn't believe how much we found actually. I usually only find one or two pieces that I absolutely love, but I do see myself wearing these on a regular basis. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have five pieces to show you today. I'll show you how I would also style them out and what features I like about each outfit. So let's go ahead and get started with the first outfit. So here we have a blush colored vintage Charlotte Russe, a uh, little sundress, I guess, or a little just mini dress. <laughs> I love this dress. I always find the best Charlotte Russe vintage wear whenever I go out to thrift shops around here. I love the fit. I am not wearing any undergarments with this because it is so skin conforming. You can see absolutely every muscle underneath me in this, which is great if you have a cute little body to show off. And I'm not saying that I do, it's just I'm feeling feeling self-confident in it and it is outlining me in all the right places. So not every skin tight outfit does that for me. There are some skin tight outfits that make me look terrible <laughs> too. So with this one, I love everywhere that it's cut. I especially love these back out cuts here outcuts. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> Cutouts that are back here. And so it gives me just the right shape. I feel like a model when I'm wearing this. I feel like I can go out in public in this dress. And if you did want to wear a bra underneath it, you can. Um, not all Charlotte Russe outfits are this thin. This is not thin in a way where I feel like it's cheap. It's thin in a way where I feel like it's like a bodycon dress should feel when you're like slipping into something skin tight. I chose not to wear a bra with this because I think it makes the shape of them look just fine the way that they are and you probably can get away with wearing like a little thong under here but it's just so seamless I decided to just leave off and sometimes I like to just air out <laughs> and be free. <laughs> so with this dress I give it a 10 out of 10 and I'll go ahead and style this out. All right, so I decided to style this out very simply. I wanted to keep things kind of monochromatic because I like the blush going on here. So I decided to add in this necklace where it has a blush crystal and a little pearl attached to it. It's very delicate and feminine, fits this dress wonderfully, I think. And for my ears, I just have these really simple little blush pearl looking earrings. And so this is an outfit where I could just throw my hair around and enjoy myself and be fun and springtimey. And so now we'll go on to the next outfit. <laughs> And so now we're in the next outfit. <laughs> this is not by any brand name that I know. It's just really pretty. It does look newer. Usually when I look at dresses like this, I look at the armpits to see if there's any staining underneath them. Cause that's something that can be easily missed if you're at a thrift shop and you look at something and you're like, oh, it looks nice upon presentation, but you forget to check the pit area. So this dress checks out fine. It doesn't look like it's been worn a whole lot, especially with this type of lace fabric. I like to look at it and go, is there a lot of beading going on with it? And especially with this type of lace fabric, I like to go and look at it and see if it looks like it has kind of balled up in chunky little like age balls of cotton that have just kind of clumped together on the material. If so, it means it's been thrown through the wash a couple of times and that's probably not the newest piece that you've ever seen. <laughs> With this dress, it doesn't look like it's been thrown through the wash a whole lot. It still fits like a glove, which I love and that's why I bought it. So yeah, starting out from the backside, I guess, it curves beautifully. And then from the front, because <laughs> there's not much to talk about with the backside it zips up back there. So the zipper's back there and then from the front uh, it just it has the perfect little shape going on here that I just love to death. It's super cute. It's very feminine, very fun, very like spring summery and I love that it has like this beautiful lace on top but then it has the underpiece underneath here where it's covering me up real nicely in case the wind's flowing around. I don't need to wear any undergarments with this because there is enough fabric between the top part here with the lace and the underlining side to be able to hold me all together here. <laughs> and so now I'll show you how I would style this out. Okay, so this is how I would style this out, keeping in line with vintage. I love pearls. I think that they're just so pretty. So I have all these fake pearls going on where I have this pearl headband going on with pearl earrings and a little pearl necklace. <laughs> so the pearls bring attention to my face and then the flowy part down here brings the whole outfit together. That's really it. It's just a darling outfit here where it has a vintage vibe and so I decided to go along with that. And with that said, we'll go on to the next outfit. 
All right, so now we have this beautiful dress that I'm wearing. <laughs> this one fits me perfectly as well. I love how like this dress is like the first one I showed you in the very beginning because it hugs me all the way around in the right places and everything. The color is bold. It's very bold pink, but it's not childish looking, at least not to me anyway. I know I can style this out like an adult should and, and I do plan on using this at a photo shoot in the near future where I shoot this in the lilacs. So I'll be sure to link that video here too once we have that uploaded. But yeah, that hasn't happened yet, so I do have plans to have this featured in a lilac shoot. So that's why I got it. I was like, oh, I can't just leave it here and not have it have its photo shoot day that it deserves. So I love everything about it. I think it fits me great. I love the material. I love the cut of it especially. I love that right here it is cut in such a way where it has this offset pattern, so I look like a little flower. It's very organic. And so now I'll show you how I would style this out. All right, so I went ahead and styled this out. I went pretty simple with it. I didn't want to go too overkill since the dress is already pretty bold and there is a lot of lace detailing already here. So I decided to go with a little bit of a crystal necklace here that also has a color that accents the color that's already going on. So I had a couple of different crystal colors to choose from, but I chose purple because I don't have a hot pink crystal because I think that might look kiddish with a lot of outfits, but I have this purple one and it is picking up the color of this dress really well. So I decided to go with the purple one. And then I have some really cute floral earrings to go with it. Just something also gold to match, but it's on point for my age. I can still wear little cute flower earrings in my 20s, and I probably will still in my 30s and 40s, because what the heck, I might as well embrace being cute. So yeah, I give this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. I love it. I love styling it out. It's fun. I'm going to use it in a photo shoot. Woo! <laughs> and the fabric's good too. I don't know if I mentioned that before. It's great all around. Cute outfit. And so now we'll go on to the next outfit. All right, so I'm in the next outfit, which is a little jumper. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. I do love my dresses, but this jumper is very cool too. It's fun, it's springy, it's got a nice color, which I really like, and the pattern is very nice too. It's got these little floral patterns on it, so I think that's very darling. And so for this one, you would think it buttons in the front, but these buttons don't do anything. They're just kind of there for looks, and it buttons in the back, so. Up at the top, it has a little button. So I think it fits me really nice. I like it from the back, I like it from the front, and I feel just as free as I do when I'm wearing a little sundress. I don't really know the brand of this, uh, so it's just another awesome thrift shop find that I found. And my favorite part is that it has pockets. It has little pockets. So with the pockets, I could put probably small things in here like keys or something if I'm just moving around and I need somewhere to put something real quick. I probably wouldn't put my phone in here because the pocket depth is not very far, so it probably just fall right out. But the pockets are cool, especially if I'm doing a photo shoot and I want to put my hands in a pocket or something like that, then I have a little pocket to work with. And with that said, I'll go ahead and style this out. So here's how I would style this outfit out. I decided to go with organic wooden tones. I would have loved to have paired it with the pearls because it does have white in it. And I think that the white with pearls accentuates well, but I already did that with another outfit. So I thought I'd switch it up a little bit with this one. So I love that I have like a neutral mid-tone colored headband and there's a, like mid-tone color, same thing going on with the tassels here in the necklace. And then I have my little wooden earrings and the wood beads to complement. So this is a very natural, fun and exciting outfit. Very casual, very like chill, and very just springy and fun. And so that does it for this outfit. <laughs> We're gonna show you the next outfit, which is our final one for the evening. So drum roll. All right, so here we have the final outfit. I put this one in the springtime outfits because there are some cooler days in spring, especially if you live up north in the United States. It definitely gets a little chilly in the springtime. So I was able to find this express brand name thing here. I don't know what you call it, a sweater dress, I guess. With this one, the material is thin enough where I needed to wear pasties underneath in order to not leave any bra lines or have anything showing that was inappropriate. If you're one of those fans that's watching this that likes to see inappropriate things, you need to look at my spicy link for that stuff. But um, in this case, I just wanted to have an outfit to go out in with my friends or to go be with family. This is a very soft and cozy outfit that also has good breathability, <laughs> if that's a word. And it's just very cute. I like how it's seamed in the back where it still makes me look like a girl and not like I'm wearing a box. <laughs> I usually get lost in these types of outfits because they're boxy on me, but I think this one shows 
shows off my feminine figure really well and it's cute as heck and super soft and I just had to have it. So now I'll go ahead and show you how I would style this out. All right, so this is the final styling for our try-on haul today. And I love this one because it's cozy and fun and sweet. So I just so happen to have these beautiful natural color tassel earrings that I think also fit that soft, cozy vibe. And since they have a little bit of gold in them, I decided to accent with a little bit of a gold necklace as well. I decided to keep the necklace around where this neckline changes into the fabric because it looks a little weird when you bring it down too low around this part. I like it more where it keeps attention up here and then of course the rest of the outfits very flattering mysterious shape also brings out the beauty of my female form here I definitely give this outfit a 10 out of 10 as well I love it it's super cozy so I hope you like this try on haul video if you liked it feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and feel free to leave me some feedback down below in the comments section of maybe which outfit you like the most maybe what you would like to see me wear next and any other amazing ideas that you might have for my channel I most advocate for model photography so if you're a model or photographer that's interested in knowing more about the lucrative model photography business feel free to check out my courses at moxymodelsmasterclass.com this is a course where I teach models and photographers how to scale their businesses and how to find financial freedom like I have so now I have loads of time to make YouTube videos for people like you in between my touring here and there I still love to tour don't get me wrong but it's nice that I have downtime now because I can spend that time either out traveling and doing what I want to do in that regard or or I can spend more time with my friends and family back home. So thank you for tuning into this video and I'll see you on the next one.